Hi, I'm Daniel Gordon, and I'm with Pro Build Fence. We're building a ranch rail, three rail, four foot tall, with two by four welded wire. We've got done setting our post. Right now I'm cutting these posts here. It's better to be long than short. We got our four foot mark here, and I'm going along cutting all the tops off. All our posts are done right now. We got some other guys over there setting, some, setting the wire. Once in a while, you know, we just have to take a break. A little mote latte. Don't say that. Don't put that on. It's about 10 o'clock, and I'd like to have a mote latte break. I can't say it! <laughs> a lot. Mocha latte break. It's about midday, and we're taking a little coffee break. Put two screws in each board. As you can see here, it's not cut like this one. We're gonna have to cut it because of the heel. That's two screws per post in each board. I've just cut in my rails at 12 feet long. I'm putting in my styles right now, which is my verticals. And what I've done is I put an adhesive. Now I'm gonna pre-drill my hole. Use a three and a half inch Phillips two coated Phillips screw. It's just gonna hold it. Then we're gonna put in our styles, or excuse me, our gussets, and our gussets are gonna run from the bottom of the hinge up to the top. We're gonna split this in half. It's a total of 12 foot.
I'm pre-drilling my holes for my screws. We've got a thin wood right here, and I don't want it to split and crack or break out. The adhesive is almost like welding. It's going to make such a strong bond, it's welding the boards together. The secondary screw is catching a lot more of the wood. Just gonna make it a little tighter, a little stronger. Of course, I pre-drill again so it won't crack, split out the wood, keeping it as strong as possible. I'm using three and a half inch Philip head screws, powder coated. The three and a half, if I don't countersink it, it's not going to catch a whole lot. So I'm countersinking it up into here, catching more of our rail on our gusset. I'll do the same here. What we've done here is we got our 45 degree angle off our tri square, which comes over like so. And this will make for a, when we put our style in, it'll come down here and also be 45 for a picture frame cut. 